good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. In this video, I'm going to be um, doing a flip through of Whimsical World by Coco Wyo. This video was requested by the beautiful Laura. Um, I do apologise, sweetheart. It has taken me so long to get around to doing this flip through. Um, but here it is, better late than never. I really hope that you enjoy. What I will do is play this along to some music um, and then I'll just sort of share my thoughts and opinions at the end. Um, if you've got any questions or comments please leave them down below for me and I will get to them as soon as I can. See you at the end. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, there you go. That was a flip through of Whimsical World by Coco Wyo. So as you would have noticed, the pages are single sided with um, black on the reverse. So if you do use alcohol markers, that would just limit how much of the bleed through you would actually see. Um, whilst on the subject of alcohol markers, if you do want to use those in this book or with anything for that matter that has the potential to bleed through, make sure you put a blotter page in between just to protect your next image from any bleed through or ink transfer. Okay, so this is printed on Amazon paper, but it actually feels quite nice. Um, the only downfall for me is that I love all of the images in this book but there's two in particular that are pretty much um, 
a, a, a repeat of Johanna Brassford's work and I, it just yeah it kind of irks me a bit so let me show you which pages I'm referring to okay so the first is this one in her world of worlds of wonder book she has this the top is a little bit different but so much of this is like literally exactly the same let me um grab that book and i will show you just quickly for reference okay so this is the page that really doesn't sit well with me um in this book and the reason why is because if any of you have a copy of worlds of wonder by johanna basford this is pretty much the exact mushroom that she has drawn in that book there are a few minor minor changes but it just it doesn't sit right with me because i know this is pretty much a copy of johanna's work let me show you <clears throat> here is the mushroom in johanna basford's book now if I hold it up, there are some slight changes, but you know it's 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 pretty obvious to me where they got the idea for that from. You know, this is the same here. You know. Um, this vine here with these little tomatoes or something on, um, the lan lantern, this, uh, toadstool here, it's, yeah, I, like I said, there's still changes to it, but I know that this, they didn't come up with this concept, you know? All of this other stuff, yeah, you know, fine, whatever, but mm. um but that is that is like literally my only downfall with the book. Um it wouldn't stop me purchasing any more of their books. This is the only one that I have in my collection, and this was sent to me by my gorgeous friend Nikki. And um yeah, I love it. It was just that page when I saw it, I was like that seems really familiar and I think I know where that is from and when I looked through the Worlds of Wonder book lo and behold there it was so yeah that's just something that I have picked up on that I think it's really important to mention um like I said this is my only Coco Wild book but seeing um books and flip throughs of some of their other books on other people's channels i definitely do want to add to my collection of their books but i am being very very selective at the moment as to which kind of books i would like in my collection so there you go that was a flip through of whimsical world by coco wyo i really hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for joining take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one lots of love bye